Hi, I'm Peter from Coffee Parts and we're looking at the Espazola V2 group head cleaning brush. I know group head cleaning doesn't really bring feelings of excitement and joy, but this brush did change cleaning for me. And that's probably the reason why I am a little bit biased. I love this brush. Effectively, before this brush, I'll take my time to get along to cleaning the machine. I knew the group head had to be cleaned with a group head brush and back flushed, but I was always delaying it. The brush was lying in the drawer. I wasn't really in a rush to get it cleaned. But now with the Espazola, I effectively make coffee. I have the Espazola next to the machine. In our warehouse, it's just hanging on the hook by the machine. At home, I literally just have it on the bench on the side. After I make coffee, I lock it in, run the water, move it left and right a few times, and I know the group head's cleaned. Now, it doesn't replace having to back flush a machine, but what you're doing is effectively removing that coffee residue and little grounds, not only from the group head seal, but the shower screen. And the way it works is water comes through the group head shower screen, hits the silicon membrane here, goes back, pushes against the shower screen and around the group head seal. As you're moving it left and right, the silicon membrane is scrubbing both the screen and the seal and cleaning it really neatly. And what that means is you're gonna get a lot better flow of water and you're gonna get a lot better seal out of your porta filter. Obviously, you still need to take out your shower screen every so often and clean under there. And you still need to back flush your machine. Say every week or two, depending if you're at a cafe or at home, busy cafe, maybe at the end of every day. What the Espanzola's done is really take out that annoying factor of having to get that group head brush and scrub it around and made it a really simple task. What it looks like in practice is this. With a standard brush, you're effectively pulling out your porta filter, activating your group head, and running the brush around the group head seal on the crotch of shower screen. As you can't really see in under there, you're just taking a guide as to where it is. Water's running down, sometimes hitting your hand and hitting the bench a bit, making a bit of a mess and not making it too exciting. With this Pozzola, it's effectively just a format of another porta filter. You lock it into the group head like you would a porta filter. So just say you removed your porta filter, knocked out your coffee and locked in the Espazola. Activate it. And once you activate it, you just move it once the water comes out, left and right, 40 degrees. And as you do, you clean the shower screen and the group head seal very simply. And all the water's coming out in a controlled fashion right in the middle there. And then you just remove the Espazola, turn it, and you're done. So it makes the process a lot more simple and enjoyable. You can add a bit of group head cleaning detergent to the Espazola and it just helps clean more stubborn shower screens if you haven't cleaned them very often. But what you'll find is normally if you've got an Espazola, you're gonna do it a lot more often so things won't really be stubborn. In saying that, it doesn't replace the need for back flushing. You still need to back flush because that's handling things above the shower screen, but it does make it a lot easier. Now, this Espazola is the V2, and the main difference between the V1, which I have here, the main difference between the V1 and the V2 was in the V1 brush, you have to buy a brush that matched your porta filter. So in this case, left to right lugs, for this say an E61 or Lama Zorko style group head. And if you had lugs that were off-centered or three lugs, you'd have to buy a different brush. Now, with the Espazola V2, it comes partially put together. So you have to put the top section on and clip it in once you get the lugs in the right format. And now these lugs are made out of metal, they're metal wires, because when using the Espazola a lot in the past, let's say a cafe environment, three group head machines, cleaning it multiple times a day, plastic was sort of wearing down. Now this actual V1 is my home Espazola, which I've had for numerous years, and it's still like brand new, but it's a home machine. I'm only using it every day or so. Multiple times a day in a cafe would definitely change it. But with the metal lugs now, it's a lot more robust. When it comes to the silicon membranes, they're made to be replaceable. You can buy spares and they're super easy to replace. Just bear in mind, if you have a V1 brush, you do need to buy the V1 membranes, and if you've got a V2 brush, the V2. So now, with the new membrane, the new format, so one brush can do multiple different styles of group heads, it's made the brush a lot more robust. 
And one last thing, these brushes are dishwasher safe. So to clean the actual brush, you can just throw it in the dishwasher and voila, it's nice and clean. Now, these particular brushes have changed the way I clean the machine. So for me, cleaning's gone from being a total chore to something I don't mind doing. So I mentioned at the beginning of the video that the Espazola is my favorite brush and I am a little bit biased because this red one here is my brush and ever since I've had it, I've cleaned my machine a lot more in a lot more enjoyable fashion. But I'm curious to know your thoughts. How much do you dislike cleaning your group head in a scale of one to 10? Curious to see if you dislike cleaning it as much as I did before this brush. And like always, if this video has brought you value, hit that thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Thank you and see you on the next video.